Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of June 30th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all sharing it with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched. And the lovely comments. Thank you for doing that. All right. The first card out. All right. The Five of Pentacles. Well, there you go. You had a bit of a financial setback for some of you. And this could have been in a mindset, too. Maybe you've, you know, talked yourself into a situation that you didn't have enough of something. And now you're coming to understand that you do. So you're letting go of worries unnecessary ones and you're moving in a different direction and if this was a setback you're realizing that you can recoup quite easily and that's what you're doing you're stepping away from something you're realizing that it's time now that you take a different road and a temptress you know there it is balance harmony coming in understanding that your progress that you're making is the right one you've you know, done enough compromising, you've drawn the line in the sand, you've not allowed yourself to do anything else. You know, you're finding your sole purpose. You're finding the um, road that gives you finally peace of mind, people around you that appreciate you and accept you for who you are without you feeling that you're being judged. Things are just starting to go so much better and smoother for you, you know, which helps you not only give you peace of mind, but better health, a much more optimism for an outlook for the future. And you're just getting along more harmonious with all areas and people in your life. And the two of pentacles. Yeah, there you go. You know, you've been multitasking for so long and trying to keep everything in balance and everybody around you in balance. And you're realizing that their stuff is their stuff and you can put the pentacles down and start to take the step for yourself without having to worry about everybody else. You're taking care of yourself now and your needs this week. And the ace of swords, yeah. Definitely got mental clarity this week. You have that breakthrough, aha moment. You know, this is new ideas and you're moving. You're taking action on them and they will succeed. Your mind is quick this week. You're not letting anything slide by you. You're understanding that opportunities are there. If you felt stuck in any direction, you're finally, you know, it's opened up to you. You can see the light and you're feeling inspired to step forward into your life your heart is starting to open you know you're starting to breathe the air again it's starting to feel good in your lungs and you have that optimism drive that you so often have about moving forward and feeling inspired to take a chance where most wouldn't and there you are four of cups yeah you're meditating you're contemplating you know you're taking that well-deserved time out. You may be even, you know, a little bit bored this week for you because you're always such a, you know, a sign of action, move, 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 do, 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 that, you know, sometimes you need to just stop and look at what's around you, what you've accomplished, how far you've come, you know, and not try to be bored, but accept that this is your time to rejuvenate before you get going again. Oh, and look at you go. You may be moving for some of you to a whole new different place. This could be job related, just, you know, getting off that merry-go-round of, you know, if this is a relationship or a job and you're packing bag and baggage and you're just saying, that's it. I'm moving on to better calmer shores, you know, it will pay you more money in the future. And that's what you want. You want to not have to feel like you're swimming upstream all the time in order to get going. You know, or better yet, 
you know, banging your head into a wall. You don't want to keep doing that anymore. You want your life to run what you envision it to be, smoother, you know, getting paid for what you're worth, understanding that there is a greater world out there, and now you're taking those steps to make it happen. And look at the strength card. Boy, it has taken you some strength and determination and controlling yourself to not just jump. You know, you're mindful of everybody around you. You think before you do things. You're certainly not selfish in any direction. But you've curbed those impulses and now you're understanding it's time to accept that you can release them and start moving for yourself again. Stop worrying about everything around you that you can't control and you're moving in a different direction now. Ooh, the Page of Swords. Yeah, there is going to definitely be a upheaval here for many of you. You know, a disagreement, blowout. You know, people don't like what you're doing or your actions that you're taking. And it doesn't matter. And this can be in a relationship too that's just not, you know, all that it was meant to be. And you're just saying it how it is and you're letting things go. Because you know that you'll fight fairly. But you will stand your ground. This is a decision that you know you have to make for your soul. And you've held your tongue for quite some time for, for many of you. But now it's time that you say your piece so that you can let it out of your life and let the chips fall where they may and then keep going forward. <laughs> and there it comes. Ace of Cups. Compassion, love, creativity, new feelings of... The world's your oyster and you know and that's what you're doing and for many of you this could be in a new relationship you know you've be careful about you know putting on those rose colored glasses you need to judge things exactly how you see them not sugarcoat them because you need to look farther into the future for yourself and that's what you're telling yourself you're judging this fairly and clearly because you know the, the consequences of your action because when you're in you're all in and when you're out you're done that sort of thing and now you want to do this a little bit slower with more clarity you're taking the rose colored glasses off and you're looking at all the situations and all the directions before you make your next move and the queen of pentacles yeah you want everything around you to start to be happy again, grow again. You know, money's good, security. You definitely take care of your finances. You know, you want your accounts to reflect what you do and how much you, you know, accomplish and save. And you do definitely look for the bargains. If you're out there right now trying to, you know, purchase something, you're okay with it because you know you're going to get your money's worth or you walk away and you're okay with that you've come to that lines in your life you know and if this is a business that you're starting for yourself you know it will succeed because you will give it all that you got to make it and the eight of cups yeah sometimes you got to walk away from something that's no longer serving you now you could have been putting time energy and effort into something for a very long time and you can see quite clearly that it is not going to get you any farther in the future. You will be drained. They will be not. And you're tired of doing that to yourself. You're understanding that if you want things to change, you have to change your direction. And the hermit. Yep, there you are. You're soul searching for sure. You're understanding that... You're using all your wisdom this week in making your decisions. You can see the light there. You know what's ahead of you. But you want to make sure that you're telling yourself the truth. You're turning the TV off. You're having no distractions. You're answering your own question because you have enough knowledge and wisdom for all the things you've gone through and seen in, in your life to give yourself the truthful answers to the questions that you have going on right now. And the Nine of Cups, look at that, wish for fulfillment, wish come true. Aw. 
You know, this is your satisfaction, your emotions, you're stable, there's money. This could be windfall for some of you, but it is going to be a very happy time for you. And I like that because you have definitely earned it. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are all about moving into the future, standing for yourself, making some very big choices of who and what to let go of in order for you to have what you want envisioned for the future. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. And that's perfect. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.